um, in the news recently, a 17-year-old kid, and it's very important to me, and this is just, we always laugh and joke and stuff like that, but a 17-year-old right. kid. Like last year it happened, yeah. It happened last October. Mm -hmm. He killed his, he, tr he attempted to kill his whole family his because of Halo father. 3, that's what they say. Um, he, because his mother took Halo away from him, mm -hmm. so she, he, he killed his mother. He yeah. actually killed his mother, yeah. shot his father in the head. Because his father kept put Halo 3 in the lockbox as far as a minister to want certain things in mm -hmm. it. And in that same lockbox, he had a 9mm handgun, I guess, for home protection. Now, so, you know, we got a lot of, a lot of these, these, you know, I see, yeah, kids, I mean, grown-ups too, act a fool too. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you know... Yeah, it's a game, but it can happen for anything. Like, you know, if a kid was grounded, a lot of kids act a fool. You take the car keys away from them, you know, they the, want to act up. The media, the media is trying to blame the video game Halo as usual for him killing his parents. And I really, as the fan of the video game community, video games do not kill people. Video no. games do not cause children or people to run around and kill people because of the Halo. First of all, if you're going to do that, you might as well blame the store for selling him the game. You might as well have blamed Microsoft. You might as well blame the developers. You might as well blame the male person that actually bought the stock of games there. If you want to get technical, yeah. I, I'm, and I'm not really, I'm not really too happy with the media always blaming video games for people doing stuff. And then what if, what if the same child or 17 year old killed his family and then he had a Bible in his hand? Would they have then said God made him do that? You know, so they try to find something to piggyback yeah. off. Although our condolences go out to the mother. Yeah. But, you know, but it just like. And the father's like, still alive. And the father's still alive. Yeah, but yeah, I don't even know. I, I didn't even get deep into so the story. He survived with, it, though. He did survive it. The reason why we brought it on because the judge is trying to convict the 17 year old now. His life is over. I heard he was addicted to playing Halo 17 hours. 16, 16 hours 16 straight. Hours. Yeah, it's like, you it know. It can get addictive. We, we understand, like, you know, with, with games and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, yeah, we, we love games. We're going to go in hard, but. You know, you can't. You have to do everything in moderation, man. Everything has to be in moderation. Understand that the games is always mm -hmm. going to be there. There's always going to be challenges. You love certain things. Probably. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, if you're into drinking water, you drink too much water, you could kill you. Yeah, that's what I heard recently. You run too much, it could kill you, mess you up. That's why we're trying to say is that it's not the video games that's killing their children and making them do, do stuff. It's them. Man. They could have a mental problem. Look into those kind of things. Of course, we only got four minutes left. Only into about one more thing. Mm. Um. Mad Cats, which I know you guys don't want to talk about, but I want you to talk about the Mad Cats up in their price from 150 to 199 Oh, yeah. Well, being we, a wrong. Well, yeah, you know what? Well, see, I guess, you know, we were talking about one of our counterparts on for, for Raw Gameplay, mm -hmm. and he just threw an idea of having, like, maybe a little section here and there mm -hmm. in our segment. You know, I guess we call it the Raw Deal. The Raw Deal. That goes out to Carl. And that, that's right, Carl Richards, <laughs> Rick Azima. Knocker. Now, pretty much, you know, we talk about it here and there, you know, throw a couple of handballs at it, but now I guess, you know, the, our raw deal segment is um, Mad Cats. That's right. This episode is going to be Mad Cats. With the, with their controllers, that I means probably the best one they have is probably, what's that, the arcade? The tournament the, edition. The tournament edition. Was 150 now it's 199 Now it's 199 And uh, we're not too happy with what's that. What's going on with that right there, man? First, first of all, we all know that the Madcast arcade stick is having known problems still up to this day, even a new shipment. Mm -hmm. Now you go to Madcast.com, you're going to see that they have a whole slew of tournament edition sticks, right. fight pads, and the regular right. SD sticks, right? Right. But why is it that they know a known problem like this is happening, and yet they still decide to spit in our faces and up it $50 more? Well, that's like... Uh, that's a raw I, deal! It's kind of like... <laughs> Classic Mad Catch right there, man. That's what you call a raw deal. That's classic Mad Catch right there, man. They they, they haven't changed. Disgusting. They've, they've, they've never changed. It's Disgusting. Like we thought this time around they'd been good, but mm -hmm. no. But no, they're, they're not. No, they're not. And that's what you call the raw deal. A raw deal. So, yeah. Anyway, now we have a few minutes to talk. We got like a um, If you notice on our, web, on our website now, we have a, a donate button from PayPal. And um, you know, once again, our good friend, because he's he's like he's like our behind the scenes, like producer yeah. and advisor, Carl yeah. Richards. Because Carl he, Richards, he's Carl a very Richards. smart businessman. He said, "Hey, look, would it hurt to put a donate button on your page?" And you like, and it's like common like knowledge. We didn't even think about it I before. Think, honestly, I didn't I even think. I'm like, you know what? And he's the one who started it. And I'm like, you know what? It wouldn't have hurt to put a donate button. No. If you guys love raw gameplay and you love what we do, we don't get paid for this. And we you know, of course, not all the games that we get, we get, we get given to us. We have to actually go in our pocket and buy all these things, of, of course. So if you really like raw gameplay and you want to support us, 
hit the donate button. If we were PayPal certi um, certified, you can hit us with any amount. It doesn't matter. A dollar, ten dollars, twenty five hundred dollars, anything. Because <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to put this in our account and and we're going to probably put it towards E3 of next year. Because yeah. if we don't get sponsored by then for someone to send us there, at least we can come out of our own pocket and fly there. And this is and when you guys, <laughs> whatever you guys donate to rawgameplay.com, it's not only for us, it's only, it's for you guys too because you'll help give us good shows. You'll help pay for gas when we have to drive to all these arcade places. <laughs> Little things like that help out Raw Gameplay. Going to the show, not going to you know us having Chinese food or getting a new shirt. No. Or nothing like that. Or, or, or you know. Or we could probably pay for the party that we might, we're planning to have in, in, we're, we're for our year anniversary. Hoping to have. Hoping to have. I want to throw a nice party for Raw Gameplay for our one year anniversary in September. We're going to officially make it September 1st because that's when we f we put our first podcast out that, that last year of September. So mm -hmm. we're going to make it September 1st from now on. So like I said before, it, right on the homepage, rawgameplay.com, you'll see it says Donate. Click the donate button, hit us off, you know, bless us, you know, because it's going to go towards a good cause, you know, it can go towards all the the, the, the the hard drive storage that we do and et cetera, et cetera. And of course, we're on iTunes, we're on iPod, we are, we, you can you can subscribe to our feed. Of the course, eyes have it. All the, as, he, as Corey would say, the eyes have it. Go to YouTube.com, click on our playlist, but first go to rawgameplay.com. That's the best you want to go to. Then you'll see where it says, watch this episode on YouTube. Click on that. It's a direct link to our playlist. So sit back if you... And plus, you know, we only have about almost 700, view, uh, 700 subscribers. If you guys are new to the Raw Gameplay, click on the subscribe button. Why not? Bless us because when you... Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you. We only got like one minute left. Unfortunately, we, we applied for, to be a partner and YouTube, <laughs> YouTube told us to kiss their ass. So I just wanted to point that out. Oh well, we tried. Yeah, so that was basically it. Okay. Well, but uh, yeah, that's anything you want to say before we go? We got like what forty seconds left of the show. <laughs> um, not really. I think we covered everything. Remember, yeah, I, for now, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's just for our friend who had the PS3 problem, uh, disable media server connections. All right, that that's our cue to go. Um, once again, I'm your host, Michael C. Herbert. Xbox 360 gamer tag, raw gameplay, and PlayStation 3 ID, raw gameplay as well. <laughs> I'm about to jump in there. Right. <laughs> it's Corey Ashley, Xbox 360 gamer tag, Neo Supreme, and PlayStation ID, Supreme Neo in, in reverse. reverse. That's how we roll. Thank you for watching the show. And if you watch it all today to the end, that means you're really interested in raw gameplay. And we've been getting all your emails with all the support about how you love us A and lot. you watched all our episodes. And I'm shocked that you sat there and watched all 24 episodes. That's a great thing at half an hour. Pop, so wow. you guys must really love us. We gotta go. We'll talk to you guys.